hello so don't worry I'm not talking to you so we've come to Fountain Abbey for the day another beautiful National Trust property we've just stopped we've only just arrived actually haven't we and we're sitting down so I can enjoy my flask of I forgot coffee. the cheese will you stop talking about the cheese sorry so um, yeah I'm going to show you all what it's like around here because it is beautiful and um, worth a visit if you're nearby so so you want you want to be on it but not with your face yeah. just your voice yeah. why because of the cheese so just is there anything in there in the book that talks about that gives history of the building the hall hmm so apparently my husband has taken a photograph on my camera when I went to the toilet I have no idea what he's taken so what is it uh, Right, let's have a look. Why? Can you see? Oh, you won't be able to see that. No. It's a picture of a roof. Oh, there's a pheasant. Don't scare it off. I don't know if you can see. Oh, they're quite tame. Aren't they? Don't. I don't even know if I've got this on the... Hello, pheasant. Don't. I don't know whether you could see that then. Or not. I probably had it on completely the wrong angle for it to be seen. I'm sure we'll find more, though, that I can um, get if I... will have to watch this back in a minute to see whether it's actually there. So now we're entering the bit of the... Park, not park, place where we can just see the abbey now as we're walking and it is gorgeous oh did you hear that oh there's two pheasants down there that was another pheasant um they're very noisy so yeah i'll get some more as we go along and right now i'm going to stop to take photographs and all the daffodils are out so it looks so so pretty um just like a sea of yellow but actually i'll show you because i've been talking for so long now i'll show you this bit so have a whoops have a look at that. How gorgeous. So this is the Abbey and I've just been taking some photographs with my proper camera. We are I think going to end up over there in a minute. I'll show you what it's like inside because it is beautiful. So now my husband and son have gone over there getting another photo and I'm absolutely boiling hot when we set off this morning the weather was um, it was quite cloudy and so I decided right I'll bring my big thick um, scarf and I'll put my big thick coat on and now I am absolutely roasting way way too hot oh look you get a better view of the abbey from here I will show you oops it's so gorgeous I will keep showing you pictures and clips as we go around because it's so nice I'll show you this bit as well look there with the daffodils the ruins are just so nice could spend hours just taking photos which I, actually I do um, I'll have to try and tell you some more more information about the history of this place which I will do when I get the leaflet which has the information in we have been here before but I always forget but I will let you know some more information about it and look at that so pretty so this is from now the other side of the abbey we've just walked from down there somewhere and we're walking around the other side of it now it's a bit more difficult to see because of the trees at this bit, but I will show you further around. So actually, this bit here isn't too bad. You can see a bit more of it now. And do you know, when 
hang on, I'm going to turn it round. So yeah, as I was saying, last time we came here, so it was just me, my husband and our youngest son, um, they played a practical joke on me. Well, no, not a practical, they played a joke on me because they said, so on the abbey at certain heights, there's like ledges and I didn't know what they were for and my husband and son told me it was where the monks were sent when um, they were in trouble they were banished to stand on these ledges for um, days sometimes and I actually believed them and they said that they would have food thrown up to them I am so gullible because I actually did believe them and took it in and they said that they weed from on top of the ledge and now they've gone without oh I can't see where they've gone oh there they are what are you pointing out? my next photo opportunity oops so now this is from the end the other side of the abbey as you can see I'm going to follow follow the footpath now we're walking on one side of I don't know is this just a stream thing I'm not sure so we're going to walk down this path here and then at the end there's lots of really nice places at the end of the path and then eventually we'll walk back on the path on that side over there so it's like a nice circular route and oh dear it makes my ears look big so now my my husband keeps turning around to check for me to see where the next um photo opportunity is for me to get because it's along here where you can get some really gorgeous shots of the abbey and if the water isn't too ripply as well you can get it where it's like it reflects really nicely in the water they've actually gone down there um can you see them just down there they've obviously gone down to uh, see where the shot is which I think I will probably go down see if I can get it I actually don't trust them down there because they're very clumsy and knowing them one of them will fall in why are you walking along there pardon oh, this bag squeaks I can't hear a thing don't fall in oh they found a bit for me I think they're wanting to actually send me into the water though so I'm going to go down here and get it with my camera Is he not? No, he isn't. It doesn't seem to be very in focus, but... Look! <laughs> I'm trying to show you stuff! So now you can see where we've walked from all the way down there. This abbey is just there. And now this is at the end of it, of the path I was telling you about, so... The path carries on around this water bit thing. I think we're actually going to head. Can you... No. Can you see it just up there? Um, we're actually going to head up there and have our lunch so that we can have a look down. I'll get some more shots for you for you from up there as well. So the place where we're heading now my husband is doing a ridiculous walk. It's called Surprise View and the, uh, some, what was it called? Temple, what was it on the sign? Surprise View and Temple, something temple. Is that where we're having our lunch? So we're heading up. We will get there. We will. I don't walk that slowly. I can walk and talk, although I am getting arm ache, so I think I will have to put this down. Unless you want to be my cameraman. No, didn't think so. So 
So this was our, our beauty, what? Lunch stop. Lunch stop. This is where we had our lunch, looking at that view, and then that was where we sat in there. So we had a gorgeous view as we sat at, sorry, I'm actually looking at the view on the screen, which is why I'm not really looking at you. And now, my husband and son have left me, they've disappeared. Where have you gone? Ah, found you. They were trying to hide and it didn't work. Are we going through that tunnel? No? Hmm. Oh, it's the... Oh no, it's not a tunnel. The octagonal tower, apparently. Hey everyone, as you can see, I'm actually now not at Fountains Abbey. Obviously, Fountains Abbey wouldn't have a washing line, rotary thing, whatever they're called. Um, the reason is because when I sat down to do the editing of the vlog, I realised it's going to be another super duper long vlog if it was all together. So I decided, as usual for me at the moment, it was going to have to be in two parts. And um, I've decided to actually upload, um, the reason I decided to upload part one tonight, which is obviously a midweek one, is because I will be doing a lot of filming over this coming weekend so I didn't want to get too behind with all of the vlogs so part two of this one will be going up on Sunday as usual and then that will mean that next weekend I will have probably it will probably be part one of the vlog I will be filming this weekend I'm not going to tell you what it is it shall be a surprise um, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching part one of this one at Fountain Dabby. Um, and if you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you look forward to watching part two on Sunday. And just a little teaser. Um, my husband is very naughty again in this one. He's not talking about cheese, but he does scare me at one point. Which is very funny to watch, but I shall say no more. And until next time... Thank you. Bye.